hey hello guys now quickly in today's video i want to show you how to create a cinematography gadget called the lazy susan and this uh, gadget is used to shoot b-rolls shots such as this floating object floating product in the hair and this kind of shots are absolutely amazing for advertisement videos so i'm going to quickly show you how to create this gadget simply under ten dollars without breaking a sweat so quickly we're going to go straight into the video i've already made sure every material i'll be using i already coupled together so i'll be showing you how everything looks and how i made it happen so stay tuned remember to like share and subscribe to this channel for more updates of videos like this because more is coming so let's go straight into the production so guys we are here and absolutely these are all you need for this diy project i've already made the uh the different parts of the lazy susan so i'm just going to show you the materials i used and the mechanism i used and how i did it i'm going to make it as easy as possible you're going to see so the material i used is all this uh sawboard material you can use they use this thing to do uh painting because i paint too so they use it for paintings so this is the material i use sawboard uh you can use a cotton board also thick cotton boards but i use this because i feel it's more durable and it's going to last longer so uh i had to cut uh the lower part of this project i had to cut it into a circle i think i made this um this should be 14 uh centimeter in diameter yeah 14 point yeah 14.5 centimeter in diameter which is the lower uh part of the lazy susan then the middle part i made with discs all these discs yeah so i did i made like 10 i uh, glued 10 discs together to make this thick uh, part of the lazy season so after i did that i had to glue a boris on top of it so that's simple i believe that is easy and absolutely not a problem for anybody just select 10 uh discs glue it together and glue a boris on top of it that fits the whole of the disc like this i hope you can see this so the boris has to have the same size of old with a hole on the disc so now the next thing guys is the bolt and nut you need a 4.8 inch bolt and nut don't mind the painting don't mind the green i'm going to tell you why i did that so we need this just this one of these for this DIY project then lastly this is the top part so this is the middle part this is the lower part this is the top part of this DIY project and this is also a saw board also and I made it um, 16 centimeter in diameter I made it 16 centimeter in diameter I hope you can see that so that's what I did for this you just cut um, this uh the material into circles as i mentioned earlier and you sand the sides and make it look as good as possible mine is not looking perfect so it doesn't matter i just needed to get my work done which it which it does so that's that for that so those are the three parts to the lazy scissor that you can use to shoot those shots now i click quickly below this i later this is an after uh, mad idea so I screwed uh, one two three four five six seven eight eight screws behind the top part for me to have easy access to rotate the top part because I notice when I'm using my hand I don't get the right smooth shot that I want for uh, my product rotation so I made this I divided it divided it into eight parts so I screwed it screws in there then I use this simple rope to 
I curl it around it and when I want to rotate I pull I'm going to show you in a moment how that is done so that's all you need now this um, saw board is I think I I doubled and glued four pieces together and as for this I also glued um, four pieces together so you might be wondering why green why am I painting this green looks a bit dull you might be wondering why I painted it green though most um, content creators use black because um, if they use black it is going to blend into the black background they use to shoot such product video but simply because I'm using a green screen for most of my projects I decided to paint this green so that I'll be able to key the green out of uh, my video do you understand so when I'm shooting the videos I decided to paint it green because I want to key I want to be able to key the green out of the video and it will make my work easier so that's what give that product that floating and flying effect in the post production so i'm quickly going to show you how to couple it together simply this is easy and straightforward i believe even a child can do this you can get a carton box make uh, four parts glue it together create a circle sand it create a hole in between then create like a dent right here for like that the reason why i did that was for the uh, bolts to be able to sink in so that the product will be able to stay on top as you can see it is flat so that's why i did that so that's simple and straightforward and as for this just a hole and nothing more you can screw this into it so that's it so quickly let me show you how to couple it now this is the lower part this is the middle part this is the top part so before i do anything i'm going to quickly wind the rope all around <clears throat> what i created to hold it down so that you see what i did i just created that to hold it down then after that i'm going to <clears throat> fix the bolt into the top part and from there we'll go further into the middle part so you're going to put the nut through where your body stands for smooth movement I did that because I want smooth movement between the uh, smooth parts of the saw board and my boris. You can see that I fixed that in. You can see we're already having a smooth movement already. Then the last part, you're going to screw this last part to it. It is easy as ABC. I believe anybody can handle this. Anybody, even a kid can handle this. So. Um, you can see that I just screw that in and we are having a smooth roll then after that I am going to fix in my knot to just hold it down finally and we are done that's it that's all now if you notice I create a dent here also don't worry my work isn't perfect here because I was rushing while doing this but it is absolutely doing what I want perfectly so i created a dent for the knot to be able to stand <clears throat> without touching the ground and that's why i also created a simple raise for it to avoid it touching the ground because that can affect the smooth movement of the lazy susan so you just screw it to your desired result and you're having a smooth easy smooth straightforward lazy season right there and how i shoot those product videos is just place your product on the lazy season if you are good with your hand you can use your hand and if your camera is good you can use it to take um good shots with your hand just by twisting the product and you get zero shots like that and or let me see or you can use the simple rope mechanism i made here to make my work easier now you might find this a little bit difficult but i believe you have your way around it when you do it you will understand it so you can easily use it if your camera is not that good to get a slow motion shot you can easily use it to pull the lazy susan to get a slow motion shot 
that's why i created this because some cameras are not able to pick fast movements quite all right so that's why i created this to create to to have a, a slow movement and be able to take good and smooth shots so that is simply how to create and make the lazy susan and take your b-roll shot so guys that is easy and straightforward and i hope you understood every bit of it and now do not forget to like share and subscribe to my youtube channel for more of this like this and videos like this do not forget to share your comments in the comment section on uh cinematographic gadgets you would like me to make on my next video so i'll know the content to be able to put out next so i'll see you in my next video and i'll see bye for now